What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk, and today we are going to hop in to what I believe the Washington football team's new name should be in 2022. And who am I? I am a fan for life. I have countless amounts of gear. I've been to I don't know how many games. I've traveled for games. I've been to preseason games. I've been to training camps. I've been as to the lows of lows of the Monday Night Massacre. I was at that game. I've been to the highs of the 24-point comeback that Kirk Cousins had. Of course, I was born in 1993, so the last Super Bowl was in 1992. And so I wasn't alive for those great runs. But, you know, I've been here the entire time of my life, okay? I know a bunch of the history of this team. I love this team and the new name is very very important to me and I want to get into what I believe it should be but first we are going to get into what it should not be all right we have a list of names here that I do not particularly like first up is the one that's extremely popular especially with the older crowd is the Warriors now first and foremost my biggest problem with the Warriors is that I don't want to live in the shadow of Golden State Warriors. They've had a great run this past decade, and I don't really want to hop on that bandwagon of somebody that's so great and has such great history, especially in the last decade, that I would like to be on my own. Number two big problem that I have with the Warriors is we had to get rid of the old name because of racism and a lot of bad stereotypes due to the last name. Now, the Warriors, it seems innocent at first, but we can't keep the same logos because they've already been, they've been chanting that they don't, they're not a logo, they're a human. So, keeping the same logo is not really going to work with the Warriors anyway. And then, plus, there's that horrible stereotype with the warrior gene that minorities have, whether it be even Native Americans with like, you know, they're ruthless and they're savages and all this stuff. And they have the warrior gene and of course other minorities as well that I don't really want to be a part of that or anything that could be tied to that. And which is why we had to get rid of the last name. So warriors is off my list. Number two, Red Tails. Now, Red Tails has a really cool idea behind it. It's the Tuskegee Airmen from World War II, and the planes that they flew had the nice red tails, and that's what they were known by, and it was a nice, great sight to see those red tail planes coming because you knew that you had great backup. But the same thing with the Warriors is that I don't really, I just want to get away from race, okay? And we really are opening the doors of somebody coming later down the road saying, why are these people profiting off of my ancestors? Why are these pro people profiting off of a minority group like that you had nothing to do with or something along those lines that it really could rub people the wrong way with the red tails? And even though it, it like on the surface, it looks like it's a good idea, not really a big fan. And then lastly, this was just the absolutely not off my list is apparently there's a men's spanking magazine called the red tails and you don't want those memes floating around after a loss or after something bad happens that you, you really just don't want that nonsense um of course that's like a secondary reason but it's a pretty good reason not to be a part of the red tails now another name that's the rest of these names are not going to be as popular there's a few here or there that i hear about Red Hawks, I'm kind of done with birds. There's like 72 bird names in the NFL. I know there's only 32 teams. It's still, somehow, there's 72 bird names. And also, we already have the Seahawks. So we already have a Hawks team in the NFL. Again, hopping on that bandwagon. I don't really want to be a part of the Red Hawks or the Seahawks or like that. That's kind of a weird. It's too close to another team. So I'm not on board with the Red Hawks. Renegades kind of just seemed boring to me that it's just... Um, I don't know, just a kind of a name people threw out there that they, I guess they thought it sounded cool, but there's really no way to go with that in my opinion that I'm just like real thrilled about the Renegades name. Again, it's just a more lower popular one. And then also, I just don't want anything that doesn't start with the letter R because I would love to keep the HTTR name. Us that are a fan of the team in Burgundy and Gold love our HTTR, love our hail sign. So being able to keep that 
as a part of the team would be nice for the fan base to be able to hang on to something from the past, but yet can move towards the future of something new. So these are a few of the names that I've came, like, you know, the, the Hogs, Monuments, Senators, things like that, that maybe have some cool things, like especially the Hogs, you know, the Hogs have the history with the offensive linemen back in the 80s. But I, I just want to keep the R name. So those kind of got thrown out of it immediately. Now on to the team name that I would like to see, and you can see right here, it's the Red Wolves. And why the Washington Red Wolves is there's so many things you could do with the Wolf that we're going to get into and why I think that this makes the most sense for the Washington football team. But first, let's meet the Red Wolf. What is a Red Wolf? A Red Wolf, also known as a Canis Rufus, Rufus the Red Wolf could be the new mascot. It's a beautiful animal that are social and live in close-knit packs, such as a team, and they have territories that they will defend fiercely from other canines or wolves, such as a home field advantage where you defend it from other football teams. Historically, as you can see by the graph behind me, represented in yellow, they have ranged all the way from Texas to New York, the perfect NFC East animal. And this also means they were once native to the DMV area, so there's a connection between the animal and the city. Unfortunately, they are an endangered species. Uh, they have are now limited to a non-essential experimental population in eastern North Carolina. But we know how Ron loves his connections to Carolina, so there's the connection there. But this could be an opportunity to get some PETA points. We could bring attention to this endangered species, the red wolf, but also endangered species as a whole. We could do fundraisers or just help bring attention and do something good in the world with the team name as the red wolf. Now we can get into some fun stuff. So why do it for the brand? First off, the Red Wolves, you can keep the color. You can see that the color of the fur had a little bit of a brownish gold tint to a red to a darker color, like a brown, dark brown, like a burgundy. So burgundy and gold completely make sense in a Red Wolf team name. And as I talked about earlier, the name starts with an R. So you keep the HTTR, formerly Hale to the former name, now Howl to the Red Wolves. Also, that's an easy change for our fight song. You could just change a few lines, such as, instead of beat em, swamp em, touchdown, let the points soar, you could say, bite em, claw em, touchdown, let the points soar. Or, instead of braves on the warpath, it's wolves on the warpath. Just a few line changes, and you can keep the HTTR and the fight song that I believe that so many people love when our band plays it after every touchdown in the stadium. Another way that you could tie to the past name without the racial slur is the relationship between the wolf and the Native Americans, right? They have a great history with nature, the wolf specifically fighting in a pack. They stay in a pack together as well as Native Americans as a tribe that they're very important to each other. They have their reservations throughout the states that it's a very important unit for them, such as the wolf. So there's a good tie there without being racist at all. There's no racial slur involved. And it's a nice positive way to tie into the Native Americans without the slur. Another cool thing is it's unique around the NFL, right? There's no other team with a wolf in it. And there's a couple of teams in other sports, like the NBA has the Timberwolves College. There's a bunch of college team names that have the wolf as well. But there's no pro NFL team with a wolf or a canine in general that it would be a great way to implement into the NFL. And there are a ton of cool ideas that are just minor but there's so many ideas such as calling the stadium the den calling the fan base the wolf pack uh, you could have a full moon on a night game the wolves come out right the werewolf you can howl on first downs like you could do the howling noise on third down a lot of stadiums have like that uh undertaker tombstone big doom thing you could do a howling on third downs instead of a whatever else you want to use it, there's so many great ideas for the brand that you could definitely use in here but now let's go ahead and hop in 
to some logos and uniform ideas because the fan art for these are incredible. Here we go. So here are some logos that other people have already come up with, right? So first off, we got the R. I'm wearing a classic R now with a feather. But instead of a feather, you have a, a wolf tail. Then you could also have, instead of the Native American symbol in there, you put a wolf with a wolf tail underneath. But you could even have, I've seen wolves with like the feathers on it to kind of tie back to the old team. Um, and then, of course, we've already been rocking the W all year. Here's a W with the capital point and then also a wolf in the silhouette of a wolf. There's so many great logos out there. You, if you Google these things, the amount of art in the ideas that come from this Red Wolves idea is incredible. And now let's get into some uniforms because the uniforms are somehow even better. Look at at these uniforms here's just a couple there's plenty out there but we have a classic look one with the burgundy and gold with the red wolf helmet and then this color rush the all whites terry mclaurin number 17 with the sleeve that has the claws going down at the burgundy sleeve the burgundy face mask the oh my look at the r there's a whole nother logo there with the r with the wolf coming out of it with the claw I, these uniform ideas that have just been coming from the red wolves uh, everybody loves this one the, the snowy feel the white wolves around them the, then it says a wolf doesn't concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. I mean, the, the ideas are actually truly, it seems like limitless when it comes to the Red Wolves that you just don't have with just about any other name out there. And there's really no downside. I mean, everybody loves a wolf. A wolf's a fierce competitor, uh, like a fierce animal. It's a pack animal, fights as a team. It, 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 there's really nothing. Like, the only thing that you could say that's bad about it is if we lose, they say we go home with our tail between our legs. Boo-hoo, who cares? Like, that's literally it. That's the extent of the negatives for the Washington Red Wolves. And this is why I want the Washington Red Wolves but you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you think that my arguments or my presentation was really good, please share this video around on any of your social medias or your Washington football team ideas or wherever you want to share it so that we can get this going around. And maybe, who knows, who could it talk to, who can it say, but I love the Washington Red Wolves personally, but leave a like hit that subscribe button. Also, there is a Discord link in the description. Hop in our Discord, talk some football with us. And last but not least, there is donation links to the channel. If you feel so kind, you could donate. But yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think. I'm a Red Wolves fan. I want to be a Red Wolf from here on out. You guys tell me. And until next time, see ya!